Battlefield 1943 has got to be my favourite game of all time. A game I started playing all the way back in 2013, and still today, when I see the start-up screen and hear the main theme begin to play, it still gives me that same awesome feeling. Anyone who has played this game before knows exactly what I'm talking about. It's a timeless classic, and the community agrees. In February 2020, the game was overpopulated, and had to increase the number of servers to keep up with the growing demand, despite the last update for the game being in October 2011. Interestingly, this peak of players came a few months after the release of Battlefield 5 of the same genre of the same time period. Maybe the players got bored and came across 1943 and realised how good it was. A lot of players would come back to this game when they got bored of the newer titles, such as Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4, and this is likely because of the laid-back gameplay Battlefield 1943 provides. Despite Battlefield 1943 only having 4 maps of a relatively small size, these maps are all considered some of the best maps in Battlefield history, and 1943 was not a full price game. It was only £15 at release for both Xbox and Playstation, and now is only £10 on the Xbox Store. But despite its low price tag, DICE certainly hit the nail on the head with this game. The gunplay was a massive step up from the last game of the Battlefield series, Battlefield Bad Company 1. So the developers spent a lot of time and resources improving the gunplay. There are three soldier classes in Battlefield 1943, each with their own strengths and weaknesses. The infantry class is armed with a submachine gun and a rocket launcher, making them very effective at close quarters and taking out vehicles quickly. Riflemen have semi-mode rifles that can fire at various ranges to take out their targets. They are most effective at medium range, and they can attach a rifle grenade or a bayonet to their rifle depending on the situation. The Scout class has a scoped rifle that is a two shot to the body or a one shot to the head. They are very good at long range and carry satchel charges, which if they ever do find a vehicle driving near where they are shooting from, they can throw onto and detonate for huge destruction. However, Scouts have to be sneaky as other classes have a clear advantage in close and medium quarters. It is important the team makes use of all three classes, as no class is so well rounded that it won't find itself in a fight it is unable to win, as well as all classes complementing each other. For example, if three people are trying to capture a point, if all of them were infantry, then a sniper or rifleman could pick them off from range. If all of them were scouts, then an infantry could easily rush and kill all of them. And if they were riflemen, a tank could come and blow up their cover and kill all of them with a the machine gun. So in an ideal scenario, you'd have an infantry clear the buildings of any enemies on the point, a rifleman to defend the immediate area around the point, and a scout sat somewhere providing cover. That way, if you're getting rushed by an infantry or a rifleman, the scout can pick them off, and if a tank tries to take back control, the infantry can blow it up with his rocket launcher. Every time you respawn, you get the option to change where you spawn and which class you play as, but using different weapons aren't the only thing you can do. You can choose between tanks, jeeps, landing ships and fighter planes to drive or fly, and even take control of a bomber plane via a bunker with a radio inside. Though, like most other elements such as buildings, trees and other environmental elements, vehicles can be destroyed, as 1943 makes use of the frostbite engine. Due to these environmental changes, as you progress further into the game, you will encounter more and more broken buildings, bumps in the road and more, meaning you will have less cover and have a harder time driving from place to place. The only problems I ever had with this game is that one of the fighter aircraft has a little less maneuverability than the enemy fighter aircraft, and the occasional visual bug, but that's it. Battlefield 1943 is still fun to play, even to this day in 2021, 12 years after its initial release. The achievement system and rank up system let you feel like you've accomplished something, but the real reward is playing the game. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, and if you find this sort of content interesting, click subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.